Hey Leo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to see what's happening for you guys in love. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You can over head over to my Etsy shop and um, buy a personal reading there. I have my tarot and oracle decks there as well. Um, I'm going to start off today with the epiphany. Your bonus, how does your person feel for May 20th to the 31st, is up on Vimeo. Check it out if you're interested. All right, so let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Also, you guys know I have a business course um, on Vimeo now. So if you're ever interested in starting your own online tarot YouTube business, do check that course out. All right, let's see what's going on. Stuck at a crossroads, okay? Stuck at a crossroad major intersection. So there's something that has kept you um, stuck, right, Leo? You guys may be thinking about something um, regarding a person in particular. Maybe they've kept you stuck. Maybe they could have been very indecisive as well. Um, a two of swords. Some of you guys are dealing with an air sign who is just really in their head. There could be a lot of overthinking as well that's kind of kept this connection from... I'm sorry, moving forward. I'm sorry, y'all slipping down here, okay? So, all right, that's good. So yeah, I think a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who's a little bit unsure, perhaps, of what they want. We got a card that flew over, okay? Temptation. Okay, deliver me from temptation. Some of you guys, there could be um, some external influences. It could be a third party. There could be some, you know, they're tempted, right? There's some kind of temptation of some sort here. Um, and someone is trying to make the right choice, choosing the right path for us, okay? So someone may be, um, again, indecisive, unsure, especially if there's someone else involved. It can kind of make things... Um, you know, bring some competition, right? So it may be very difficult for this person to choose, okay? Choose which direction they want to go with you. All right, let's see what's going on. Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clear messages for Leo. All right, so the current energy is the two of pentacles of the devil. How funny. Look, two of pentacles is someone's going back and forth, juggling, unsure of what they really wanted. And I feel a lot of you guys is because we have the devil here, right? Temptation, obsessions, third parties, karmics, addictions, whatnot. There's something that's getting in the way, okay, that could be causing this person to juggle, could be causing this person to be very unsure as to how they want to move forward with you. So you're dealing with someone who's kind of up and down, in and out, okay? And they could have been like that with you um, behaviorally, like, but they could have just been in and out of your life as well. But there's something here where something is being dropped, okay? The Queen of Swords came out in a verse. Um, some of you guys, someone could have cut off communication entirely. There could have been um, a verbal altercation between you guys going back and forth. I'm getting someone could have also been very cold and decided to just cut ties, okay? And it could be because, again, whatever this devil is, I feel someone just had it. Someone's just like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this anymore. So there could have been, there could be a blocks in communication because of that devil, all right? So let's see in the past. In the past, we have the hangman, okay, Piscean energy, the king of wands, in reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries, and the four of cups. So it does look like in the past, someone was very slow to move, right? The hangman, someone was really trying to think about how do I want to move forward? What would this look like? Okay, you're dealing with someone here who um, perhaps, Leo, you had to back away from. The king of wands, in reverse, some of you guys, you gave up on this person and just decided, you know what, I'm just going to have to let this be okay like miss an opportunity with this you felt like there was a missed opportunity unfortunately but you know i feel whoever you're dealing with they kept you in this hangman energy and i think a lot of you guys you decided to perhaps cut ties or let this go and free yourself because the hangman is coming out in reverse so there's something in the past that you did leo okay maybe you stopped putting in effort maybe you, you stopped okay waiting for this person but it's telling me that yeah, I mean, it was it was disappointing. You were a little bit disappointed and sad about it, but I think that's what you guys had to do. I see a lot of you guys, you took your power back in the past. So let's see what's on your mind. 
We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Hermit in reverse. So I do feel like right now there's a lot of thinking about how you want to invest your time, your energy, your efforts. The Eight of Pentacles, you're very, very particular and you're very cautious as to what you give your time and energy to. I do see that you guys um, are spending a lot of time with yourself. The Hermit, Virgo energy, this is the energy of going within, right? Um, really contemplating, introspection, um, connecting with yourself. And I think that's what you guys are doing, Leo, especially after something, you know, in the past didn't work out the way you anticipate it. But I do see you guys essentially no longer investing in that situation because you don't feel like it's something that would go anywhere. A lot of you guys, you felt like this person wasn't um, investing enough, right? They weren't contributing or giving their part. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the foundation here. What's going on in the foundation that Leo is unaware of? The Three of Pentacles wants to come out here. Oh, the King of Cups popped out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And the Ten of Cups. So, Leo, there's definitely energy of someone wanting to work work things out. That's what I'm hearing. Let's work things out. Let's get on the same page here with the Three of Pentacles. This Three of Pentacles is really about, you know, becoming like becoming a team let's collaborate let's come back together let's um make things better let's contribute you know let's let's work as a team okay that's essentially what it is this is definitely someone could be a cancer pisces scorpio someone who does have feelings for you this is someone who may be realizing it now okay they're definitely in their feelings right now um and because they see you as someone that they could be happy with they do see this happy um fulfilled you know life they see themselves as, as living um a fruitful blissful peaceful life with you this is someone who definitely is looking toward the future so let's let's find out some more um it doesn't have to be a water sign but there's definitely strong water energy it could also be a capricorn taurus virgo strong virgo with the hermit and strong capricorn with the devil let's see what's coming in the five of pentacles in reverse the sun in reverse and the page of swords in reverse leo there's someone who is not going to be happy because they're, you're not in their life, right? You know, you perhaps have turned your back on them. And ever since you did that, this person has been watching you like a hawk. This is someone who cannot get you off their mind. Um, the Page of Swords, they may be trying to find out as much information about you as they can. But I'm also seeing their resources are, have been cut short or thin. I'm getting they can't find out enough. And they may be afraid to talk to you. I feel like this is also someone who feels... um left out in the cold by you they feel abandoned they feel like you've neglected them and as if you don't want anything to deal with them anymore and so they're really in this unhappy place because they associate you with the ten of cups and a lot of you guys you turned your back okay you are decided to maybe isolate and take back your power from this person leo and they see themselves as maybe even tempted to reach out to you there's an the energy of them still feeling tied to you okay in some way now you know, this could have been, again, someone who was dealing with some kind of toxic behavior that you decide to cut ties with, but the current energy is still the devil, okay? So there's definitely some kind of tie or um, bondage or thread that's connecting you to this person. So let's get some clarity. If this is your reading, Leo, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your bonus, how does your person feel till May 31st is up on the mail. All right, let's see. The Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Why is it Two of Pentacles? Why was this, this person in and out or juggling? They were very unsure about something. Okay, yeah, this is the same person, King of Cups. So again, this is someone who, um, they could have been holding on to something from the past. They could have been um, dealing with some kind of emotional conflict or something from a past situation, a past relationship when they met you. And I also feel like this is someone who perhaps never cut that cord or never... Um, moved away from that situation there was some kind of cycle here that perhaps wasn't um closed when they met you so i do feel like this is someone who's been going back and forth in and out they could have been dealing with you and perhaps maybe another air sign but there definitely was some juggling here maybe emotionally okay investing in two situations why is the queen of swords in reverse why did you guys cut communication why did someone cut communication Someone cut communication because it looks like someone was unwilling to deliver a commitment or give a commitment to the other person. Someone was unwilling to, um, you know, invest. This is about, you know, 
coming with an offer, a relationship. This could have been someone that you felt was being very stingy with their time, their energy, their money, and it ultimately kept someone stuck, okay? So that's why someone has cut ties. Someone stopped communicating here with the Queen of Swords in verse because someone felt like you're just keeping me stuck. Okay, I, I'm thinking that you're going to give me a commitment and then it never comes through, right? You guys been wanting change and you've been feeling like this person hasn't been giving you that, right? Eights are change. Um, and the eight of swords is you feeling tied and bound. Something here with the devil, that's, that's you know, feeling tied and bound. So let's see what happened in the past. Why was someone with the hangman in reverse? So if the hangman is someone getting unstuck, why is the hangman in reverse? Three of Swords and Verse. Yeah, because someone felt like, yeah, even though even though this is really difficult for me, someone decided to cut ties because not because they didn't care about the person, there was love here, but someone felt like I have to move toward my stability. I have to move toward what is going to bring me abundance, right? The Knight of Pentacles. Um, a lot of you guys, you've been really wanting something. You've been wanting perhaps to invest in your future. You've been wanting a family. You've been wanting something long-term. And I feel that a lot of you guys, you you ultimately saw that you couldn't get it with this person. So you had to break away. You had to cut ties. You had to sever and um, accept the loss of the loss. And that's when you guys with the Hangman in Reverse um, let that go. Let this connection go. So I do feel with the King of Wands in verse, a lot of you guys are no longer putting energy and effort into something here. You're pulling back. Why is the Four of Cups or some kind of missed opportunity? Ace of Wands. Yeah, because someone, I think that someone was bringing you a lot of passion and fun, okay? But that wasn't what you wanted. Leo, you wanted more. You wanted stability. And I feel your person was just bringing you just a good time, right? A lot of passion. Um, Something here could have gotten started really quickly but it feel like it just it had to end it wasn't going anywhere um the five of swords is conflict okay there's feeling of, of defeat as well so let's see why you guys are in the eight of pentacles in reverse with the hermit you guys are doing a lot of thinking about your investment spending a lot of time alone um we have the nine of wands and three three cups some of you guys are really tired of just the dating scene that's what i'm seeing a lot of you guys you feel like you've been overly investing in the dating scene like putting yourself out there online dating and it's to the point where now you're just tired you're feeling like this just doesn't go anywhere i'm constantly opening up my life my heart to people and it's a it's a lot right when you're investing in, in new relationships or getting to know people it's a lot and a lot of you guys you're exhausted with the nine of wands it's like you want it um but you almost feel like right now you need some time to rest so i definitely would suggest if you're closing out a cycle with someone or walking away before you get something else up and running you have to take time to yourself right don't just go serial dating guys because that is emotionally going to leave you exhausted with the nine of wands so that's what I'm seeing. Let's see what this person is going through. We got the Three of Pentacles. Um, they're not telling you right now. This is someone who's definitely very quiet, maybe very stressed right now. There's a lot on their mind. There's some conflict regarding the connection with you um, because I do feel, again, it could have been some third-party energy, but I also feel like this is someone who is in conflict because they do want to um, collaborate with you. They're not entirely done. They do have these feelings. What is this King of Cups here? What do we need to know? Oop. What do we need to know about this King of Cups? The Two of Pentacles wants to come out again. <laughs> this person is all over the place emotionally. I feel like they're very much in balance right now. Um, the Seven of Swords versus the Four of Wands. This is someone who wants to clear the air with you. Um, this King of Cups wants to make things right. They want to perhaps tell you why... Um, why they failed you, right? Tell you why they lie, why they were dishonest, why they couldn't give you the commitment or loyalty that you deserved. Um, they're thinking about the long-term um, stability now. They're thinking about family, marriage. Four wands is that they want to bring balance back to the connection with you, right? This is someone who doesn't want to be done. They want to see if you guys can come back and be at peace with each other. Can you guys, can they get back in your good graces, right? Ten of cups, that's how they see moving forward with you. And they're not interested in anybody else. This is someone who's like, no, I'm not interested in what, what else is out there. What I'm interested in is Leo. So let's see, why does this person want to get out of the cold? Why is the five of pentacles in reverse? Okay, we, they want to get out of the cold because this is someone who misses your... They miss you in your life. They feel like you offer them a lot of stability. You're very... um. You know, you had a lot to offer. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who is very attentive to their needs. Maybe you supported them, I don't know, financially as well. Um, they see you as someone that they could um, 
have a long-standing commitment with they see you as wife or husband material and they miss your comfort they miss your companionship why is the sun in reverse that's your energy leo you, you turned your back and they're not happy okay oops they're not happy one bit um queen of cups and the three of pentacles in reverse. they miss they want your love this is someone who feels um they're really disappointed they're unhappy because um you guys are not on the same page. Three of Pentacles and Verse. You guys are not able to come together right now. Um, I'm also seeing, again, there's definitely some... There's another person here for sure. I do feel like this is someone that maybe they were dealing with. And maybe you guys are just um, coming across as just very loving and just very um, committal. Okay? So, the, this is someone who's really unhappy because they're not on the same page with you. And they don't know how you feel. Uh, why is the Page of Swords? They're trying to find out information about you, Leo. <laughs> What's this Page of Swords about? Um, cause they want to move forward with you. Some of you guys, they want to see if you moved on. Okay. They're very curious. They may be trying to gather intel or information to see if you've moved on. Okay. Where you're going. The three of wands is some kind of, um, they think that you, you're, you're going, you're moving on to someone else. <laughs> they're waiting for their opportunity to get back with you. Um, and some of you guys, they're just watching you from a distance. They're watching, checking your social media, that kind of thing. All right, so Leo, that's what I have for you guys. If this is your reading, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's all I have for you guys today. Check out your bonus on Vimeo, How Does Your Person Feel, if you're interested. And I'll check you guys later. Take care.